I mean, what's your take on kind of how that last couple innings went? Well, um, uh, my take on it is that that's, that's American League baseball. You know what I mean? I mean, you're never, a lead is never safe because they're used to coming back and having the beginning, especially offensive clubs that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. Um, you know, we didn't walk guys to get to that situation. You know, we, uh, you know, they hit us. And uh, probably you're wondering why I didn't take Coda out because that's American League. You know what I mean? And I've seen, you know, any games that I've seen with, with big comebacks has been most of the time American League. And, uh, you know, they continue to hit, and these guys can hit, and they hit the ball at the ballpark. So you never know which, which run is going to be the run that wins in the game. I mean, you know, you seemingly think you got the game in, in hand and in the bag, but you never do. And that's why we always urge our guys to keep playing. It was big. Zim hit, hit his home run, and Michael's home run ended up being, the, you know, the game winner. Is there a difference for Cody? He comes in obviously in a big spot. And he's got a lot of motion. Is it hard to rechannel that when all of a sudden there is a big lead? To well, have that you have, edge? But you have no choice. You know what choices do you have? You know what I mean? And uh, you know we didn't want to use up a whole bunch of our bullpen either. You know since he was already warm, already loose, he went back down and threw some more. You know, but they, you know, they got hits. I mean, there's not always a, a reason or excuse why. You know, I mean. If it happened on our end, then everybody would say, oh, man, that was a great comeback. You know, but when it happens on the other side, those guys over there are, are, are trying to earn their stripes and earn their keep, too. You know, so I'm just glad that, you know, we won the game. Tanner gave up the, the homer to Davis, but it looked like he was in pretty good control all game long. Well, he was. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, he was in control. You know, he threw Davis to change up the state inside where he likes it, and he hits the foul pole. And... Um, uh, you know, uh, fortunately for us and him that, you know, we came back and got and got the three runs before he came out of the game. You could tell he was they were starting to hit him, too, you know, and uh, that's why we had to go get Cota in the eighth, uh, you know, because they were, you know, they were threatening and they hit two balls hard and he had 105 or six pitches. So, whew, boy, so I'm just glad we won. I know you kind of were high on Zim coming into the season, but he's already hit more homers than he did, you know, all the last two or three seasons. I mean, just how uh, impressive or surprised that? Would... No, I'm not surprised. I mean, this guy's—he was a premier player before. You know, I mean, uh, I don't think people understand this game is tough enough to play healthy, but you know, when you're hurt, I mean, it's, it's doubly tough. And then, um, you know, your mind plays tricks on you. You know, and you're wondering about this or that, and if doubt or any kind of thing sets in, I mean, <clears throat> as a player, then you know you're struggling. And uh, you know he was healthy in spring training. We tried to give him quite a few abs. Uh, uh, the last spring, I had to monitor him, you know, with his foot. And uh, so, I mean, boy, I mean, right now, you know, Zim is amongst the league leaders in almost everything in every department. So. Uh, you know, I'm just glad we got Zim. I started not to play him today, you know what I mean? Because, uh, <clears throat> and then we talked about it after the game because, um, and he says, hey, I can DH. It was like, almost like having a day off, and, and he proved it, and he came through. When Trey got on to start that inning before Zim hit the homer, it seemed like Madsen had to pay a lot of attention to him. Can that, does oh, yeah. that affect him? Definitely. I mean, speed, speed oh. does that. You know, if you don't have to pay attention to the guy over there, then all your focus goes toward, you know, to the hitter. But if you have to pay attention to him and the hitter, and then, you know, you're more likely to make, you know, mistakes in concentration and, and focus. So, yeah, speed. Uh, I love speed. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, speed can create a lot of things. But in the end, how big is that double steal? Even though, you know, a home run may happen no matter what, but to put well, that kind of pressure on him. Well, that was big. I mean, you know, we had hoped that he was going to, you know, he has a green light if you think you can get the jump. But is he uh, uh, doubly important for him? If you're going to run, you run because the trail runner is running when you run. And how many times have you seen a guy run and stop and the trail runner keeps keeps going and next thing you know, he's in a rundown. So, yeah, that was, I mean, that was big. Whenever you can get in the scoring position less than two outs, and then it made them make a, a decision if they are going to walk Zim to pitch to Murphy like they did you know, uh, Harper to pitch to Zim, and that's that's how you stack, you know, stack your lineup. And um, so, 
uh, you know, that was, I mean, that was a big, that, that big double steal. How's Jason's foot? Uh, not good. You know, I mean, that's the same toe that he fouled the ball off a month ago. And I think he missed three or four days in. So, you know, he's not looking good. You know, the x-rays were negative. But, you know, he's on crutches. And so, uh, you know, it's not looking good for now.